Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to take you through the provision store. This provision store is the place where all the provisions, vegetables, breads, meats and fishes are kept. So today we are going to have a look at this provision store. But before that, let me show you today's dinner. We had chapatis as usual, which is the regular main course for dinners. For the side dish, we had chicken curry and palak paneer. And for the dessert, we had vermicelli kheer. We are very late for dinner tonight. It's already 8 p.m. The kitchen is already closed and all the officers and crew members have already finished their dinners. These are the leftovers and that's why the steward has kept it all covered for those people who hasn't taken their dinner yet. Today we've come late for dinner because we are already at the port and there are a lot of inspections going on and chief officer is the main person who has to tackle all these inspectors and pass all the holes. He has a very busy schedule at the ports and he cannot follow a proper timing for his meals or his sleep. Sometimes my husband even skips his meals and his sleep time and he continuously works on the deck. Today we waited for him and we are having a late dinner together. What inspection did you pass today? Uh, we just had a couple of whole inspection, PSC inspection, mm. getting in PSC. What is PSC? Port speed control. That means? <laughs> that means what? We take everything into it. They okay. are capable of detaining a ship. Okay. They are capable of damaging the reputation of a company, the reputation of a chief officer. Okay. Reputation of everyone. Mostly. Everything is, they are here to check if everything is in order. As per the regulation? Yeah, and there are a lot of regulations and everything has to be complied. Okay. So, yeah, she went through school. Baby is having cars for dinner. <laughs> This is the galley which you would have seen in many of my videos. At the entrance of the galley to the right hand side, we have a door to the provision handling space. These steps are quite steep so we prefer not to take our baby there. And it's also quite cold down there. You cannot enter these rooms without a jacket. Let me show you the temperatures at which these storage rooms are maintained. This is the gauge that displays the temperatures at which each room is maintained. It also helps us to monitor these temperatures and maintain them according to the storage criteria. We have different rooms for fish, meat, vegetable and provisions. Today we are going to look only at the provision store and here you can see that the lobby is maintained at 4 degrees Celsius. 4 degrees Celsius is not freezing cold, it is the optimum temperature at which spices and other provisions can be maintained. And hence we do not require a jacket to enter this area. As soon as you enter the space, the first thing you see is the lobby. Items that are frequently taken outside, some leftover items like juices and cornflakes and some other items which does not require refrigeration like the garlic and sometimes potatoes. These items are all stored in the lobby. There are three different doors in the lobby which leads to fish room, meat room and the vegetable room. I'll be showing all about these rooms in my next video. In today's video, I'm only going to cover the dry provision store.
So this is the door to the dry provision store and this store is kind of separated from the other cold rooms. This room is usually maintained at room temperatures. All the dry provision items like the condiments, pulses, cornflakes and certain canned items that do not require refrigeration are kept here. The expiry date for each and every item is checked from time to time by the chief cook and the steward and the same is communicated to the master and the company. Any expired item is immediately discarded and fresh stock is ordered at the next port. At every port we will have health inspectors coming on board to check the general cleanliness on the ship especially in the galley and the storage rooms. If they find any product that has already expired, the vessel will be fined heavily. Each and every country has different set of rules, so proper care is taken to ensure that we meet all their criteria and have only fresh stock on board. The company has agents all over the world, almost in all the countries, who can supply us with fresh stock no matter which port we go to. The chief cook usually prepares the list of items he requires for his cooking until the next voyage and this list is always double checked by the master and then it is sent to the company. The company also verifies it and they forward it to the agent and then the agent brings us fresh supply of all the food items. In most of the countries these days we get all the Indian products like pickle, cooking oil, turmeric, saffron etc. So we usually get all of our regular cooking items along with all the foreign products. But in some countries like Brazil you cannot find many Indian products or Indian brands. So in such countries we may not get turmeric powder or ghee. We have to manage with alternatives like cooking butter but it's quite manageable once we reach the next port again we can order for whatever we don't have and we'll surely get it. These are some of the products in the dry provision store, you can take a quick look at it. These products are managed by the chief cook and will be served to us on the table. It's a different experience to taste so many varieties of items from different countries. Usually the sailors are very busy at work and they have very little time to take a look at all these products. But their families on board enjoy and appreciate every little thing on ship. And I guess we should really be thankful to God for such a wonderful experience. That's it for this video guys. I've shown you most of the products from the dry provision store and this is what we have on board. Thank you so much for watching this video and do check out other videos in the series. You'll surely love them. Stay tuned. Subscribe to our channel. Meet you next time in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.